Okay, let's get the stuff that probably nobody cares about out of the way first. Uh, I have, for so for the debugger, I have uh, just some crap in my log here, uh, and a thing I added to the debug, which is example debug. Uh, I've added functionality, so if I hit L or D, it will respectively clear the log or the debug screen. And I've also added uh, a file monitor, so let's see here, uh, we'll go to mem, and then inventory, and then we'll just copy this directory into there, and then go back, and go to zero west, b, c, if uh, you remember from the last video, this is where Dave's watch was, and then we'll just type null for this one, you can see now it is, uh, showing the contents of those directories in real time. So if we go back into here and we actually launch the thing, just keep that open. Uh, so first of all, the version number actually displays correctly. It, that apparently wasn't updating before. I also fixed the one on the main menu. Um, oh, uh, there's a quit button now on the main menu. It does exactly what you think it does. Not sure why it wasn't there before, but it is now. Um, uh, yeah, hold on. Let's actually get in game here. If you hit one, it will actually open up like a menu now. Uh, a lot of these buttons don't work. This stuff is all just mock stuff I have just to see what the menu would look like. Um, uh, close menu does what you think it does. Uh, quit will prompt you to quit and it takes you back to the main menu. Load. Oop. Uh, save load. Nine. Er, uh, no. Save load. Eight. Do you want to save? Load. Save. It takes me to the save screen. And, uh, sorry. And so on. Uh, options. Oh, options, actually. Options will bring open a list of settings. Now, if you've noticed, this isn't the full list of uh, things that I have in, like, the, the console. This is things that aren't, like, debugging tools or whatever. Uh, anyway, if we go back... Uh, inventory. Yeah, that's the main one. Uh, if we go into inventory, you can see we have a pack of cigs and a cool rock. Well, uh, let's do cool rock. Uh, what would you like to do with it? Examine, drop, or nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and examine it. See, we have some random stats, and then a cool rock you found outside. You decided to call him Jim. Anyway, I'll show you a bit more of that here in a second. Let's go ahead and uh, just close the menu. You can see we have more options if I'm in the actual console. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, load actually shows up here now. Uh, this functionality has been in here since I added the save and load system, but apparently I didn't have an option for it, or I didn't have it listed in the, the help command. And also, I have the sound player here. So let's type sound, and uh, let's do noise. Nice. Uh, what I just entered there, uh, here I'll show you that. That's uh, X sound stops all music and sounds. It's currently a little buggy. Oops, accidentally hit Control V or something. Uh, but. If we go back in there and go to Secunda, or Secunda, I'm not sure how you say it. It's a, it's a track from Skyrim. Let's see. It starts playing. We can still move around, do whatever. And that is actually linked to the window. Close it. I'll have to do something about that prompt, but it takes a second for some reason, but it does close and it stops the music with it. Um. Right, so then I think all I have left is if we go to the scene handler. I did fix the bug, or not bug, but 
I said before it was if I just hit enter load test scene, but I did fix it. If I just hit enter, it will load zero now. And we're back in the, the scene handler. See, I have east two and uh, create space now. What I was doing with this is I was testing uh, create space is literally the exact same thing uh, as create, but I can have a space in the file name now. Before that did not work. Anyway, so let's go to west and then B and then C, and this is the room with the watch. Hold on, let me uh, bring open this now. If I that, interact with the watch, uh, you get the same with the loan dummy. Uh, do you want to take the watch? I added a prompt for that. Yes. And then you saw that watch.cmd and watch.item copied from the scene file to uh, this is what controls my player inventory. If we're in a scene, we can type menu and it'll bring up in the menu. And if I open the inventory, there it is, the watch. Go ahead and examine the watch. A watch belonging to Dave. Not very exciting, but if I uh, interact with the watch, right, watch again, and then we hit drop. Notice over here, it drops it back on the ground. That'll work in whatever scene we want, and there it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and that. Uh, sorry, take it. And then if we go back, 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 and then south. See, here's Dave. And uh, he has exactly the same interaction if you don't have the watch as he did before, but with the watch in your inventory. Dave seems, uh, Dave sees the watch on your wrist. He says, hey, that's a nice watch. You have good style. He lets you pass. So I can trigger a script to happen based on something that the player has in their inventory. And uh, I think that's about all I got here in my notes. Uh, so yeah, I suppose that's all.